What's good friends got CL versus uh, Tokyo Tom here? Of course they started when I went to get food. So we see a Laddie lead, Fortress switches out on a potential HP fire, goes into Cress. <clears throat> oh nice toxic on the on the incoming Politone, man, I was just ready to to eat. Of course this game had to pop up. So it's offensive potentially scarf Politoed. As if we see a leftover starting that switch in scouting for Ice Beam by going Ninetales, which is a nice play. Oh nice lander play, did he predict the Ninetales? Oh, I forgot to put music. My bad, my bad. Let me just put a song real quick. Because I don't want to add music after. Because this recording program is like a bit different than the others and it takes way too long to edit it after. So he turned out on a fortress and fired off another pump, but it's like Dragon doesn't really care, just ate it up and just roosted it off. Okay, he gets up rocks, but like fortress spins on this for days. So it's HPS Fortress. I actually was thinking that in my head just for fun, but it actually is a set. Wow. Like, I don't know if that is common or if it's just on this team. Um, I've seen um, builds like Tokyo Toms before. It's with Dougie to um, trap Tyranitar to, to win this the weather war with Nine Tails. And Volcarona, um, yeah. Go around the sun so you take less from uh, water moves. That Draco did 5 million. Doesn't Cresselia like take Draco decently well? Maybe he's more fist I'm not sure. So HP fire, he kills the fortress at minus two. Um, I see a lot of special D nights in Gen 5 and 4. Um, see others on the Everground Bigs. I'm not sure which team they are playing this week. <laughs> Lady stays broke. Like, if he goes Pharathon, it could have Fire Blast, so that's not the, that's not really an option. He might go Cheetah on a potential E speed, but this could also have Superpower and be mixed. Um, actually, it's Ruse, so. It only has three attacks, uh, three other moves. What does it? What would it run? What about Roost? Is it a sub DD set? It is a sub DD fly set that we see in gym. That is like I thought it had an hour sometimes. I have no idea if it's any any good in black and white. Newton doesn't even break the scale since he has lefties. The scale is, is here, right? Yeah, multi scale got released in Gen Five, I think. Yeah. I mean, Kelly cannot kill it. Like, I, I don't think Ice even doesn't kill through the. Oh my gosh! Just blown away. Could probably, could probably mattered. GG was fun. Um, someone said he should have gone to Tita to get rid of multi scale, which is what he does now. Um, pretty sure CL just loses this one. Like, nothing else speeds the Dina, and earthquake. if it has, if it has Earthquake, this gets blown away, but I think, I'm thinking this is the subset. Did I get a challenge or a PM? Oh, I got a PM. Okay, I'm gonna answer after. Oh, I, I, what PC is playing after? Is playing today? I thought he was playing tomorrow. So yeah, this is the subset. Nice. That set is so cool. I'm, I'm happy to see this set do work, even though a crit sucks, I guess. So it's HBS Lando. Um, yeah, I saw Aim. Aim talk about that yesterday. That HBS was really common in Gen 5. It's now common again. And in Gen 6 it fell off because of the knockoff got the boost. So Landers just ran knockoff of HPI. I mean he can roost here. He subs again, okay. 
like HPS doesn't do shit if he roost because he loses the flying type. I think we will do like 35 maybe. Yeah, I really don't understand why he's up there. If he roosts to 100% he takes like nothing. Yeah, he, he sa he's saving roosts at the other guy. <laughs> Watch him misclick up here. Um. I thought PC was playing tomorrow. Let me check the schedule right after. All I know is nice and snowy is playing 5am. So, Earthquake's on the roof, which is a nice play by CL. He's trying, he's trying to come back. Oh my god, a crit. I mean that's some that's some justice for the for the crit. Some justice for the crit and the kill here. Okay, so that's doing 30 without crit. Yeah, I forgot for a second that crits do double the damage in black and white. Instead of 1.5, like in, like introduced in Gen 6, where they only do 1.5. So, I mean, now he got back to multi scale, and he, he doesn't have that many roots, but. So he's Dragon Claw, not Fly, interesting. So he just realized that he doesn't have enough PP. He switches out, and. Not sure if this one's Willow Wisp, but I could see that being a thing. He can also. I could see this uh, going for U turn here. On uh, on a Cresselia, but if this is offensive Zyga. Offensive Ninetales? I don't know if Fireblast could Oko the Lander. It, it's, it's just Leftover, so it's not Specs or Life or anything. Like, Leftovers is nice for longevity, obviously. It is Willow Wisp, okay, and he goes for it. And yeah, he goes for you then try and, like, I don't know if he knew he would, it's not worth it to off quick on a wisp, or if he broke the crest. Yeah, um, Will Wisp on Nintendo makes a lot of sense to, like, catch Tita. Actually, this guy has double weather, I just realized. <laughs> man, oh man. Yeah, I'm actually getting tired. Oh, like, mainly, I'm not I'm not that tired, but I mainly have to eat. Like, I slept, I slept decently long today, because... So the tiredness is not the main problem. I mean, in black and white, um, the only way my narration is decent is if I watch it from the start, probably. And I had to like rewatch 10 turns. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking if I should just record Sun and Moon and Aura's games. So it's a sunny day, which I've seen before in black and white. Um, Nice weather change. Uh, the Polito is actually getting super low. If he doesn't have rest, it's gonna be dead pretty soon. Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna like switch out this this nine tails. Um, even though, yeah, he wants to save the sun. So I think. It's you can go to Dragonite here, or the Cresselia. I think Cresselia, because Dragonite was you don't want the Dragonite getting burnt. There's still Ch and Zorak said he's still 2.5 months away. I think he was talking about earlier when the Laddie went in on his team. So the poly told. Um, 
gets super low with poison, so it's in range. Dies to flamethrower after the project. Like I'm maybe the maybe the crest is fist death, which is why he's not switching it in, or maybe I'm missing something. But Crescent is like really fat. I thought it could take this like fine. Yeah, okay. The Volcarona was at two percent, so there's no point in keeping that. That's a fine sack. Oh yeah, I think Moonlight Moonlight holds seventy five percent and the sun if I'm not mistaken. Does it? So this is four text laddie. So it's really cool but if it's rain boosted. We didn't see that much in XY, which is the T where I started playing. Or the degeneration where I started playing. Because like, well, I got like nerfed, it's not permanent anymore and you had to run Damp Rock and Heat Rock and stuff or on weather teams. So I think if he has if he has Moonlight, he's gonna go for it and like he's just gonna... Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, exactly. He's just gonna get his health back. Nice. <laughs> nice snack. I mean, if it's... The song is so cool, dude. Shoutouts, uh, shoutouts Glitchic City. Nice Sonic Generation remix. I don't know the, the exact name, but some I think someone asked me for this for how the song is called, but I'm pretty sure I answered the comment anyway. Wondering if this would be banned, Tara. Um, actually, what did he use rocks with? There, there are no rocks up on the field. And No, actually Landros, yeah, Landros is his rocker. Okay, okay. <laughs> How could I forget? So it's probably Spikes, Pharaoh, and then the Tita is either Scarf or Band or Chopper or what else? What else? He's somewhat weak to Alakazam, so Chopper would make sense. Um, yeah. The crest could be hidden power. Um, I'm, on, I'm not sure if they're on hidden power fighting. I thought actually I thought some hidden power fighting sets. Yeah, hmm. I thought he had to crunch there, because it was like the puzzle was kind of obvious. Okay, now he switches. Okay, he gets them. So the crest is super low, which is nice for CL. But now your Tita says bye bye. I mean that the crest was faster than the tar, so it's a slow tar. Don't even think it's banned because the suit on the switch is only 48. Unless the crest, maybe if the crest is super defensive, it only does that much. Not sure. A freeze would be like annoying for Tokyo Tom on that specific turn. Lol, I love how the doggy is moving, the, the black and white sprite. <laughs> Kek. Yeah, see, doggy with like doggy only had base 80 if I recall correctly in last gens. Got a nice boosh to boosh in attack, so he had only the 72 to Tita, which is like a joke damage. Um, Lando's just gonna go for U-turn here, or for rocks. Yeah, rocks, rocks is a play, a potential play. Yeah. And says, yeah, yeah, I killed you actually one here. If it, no? Yeah, actually, the multi scale is broken. As Icy Wind to hit the Dragon, I guess Kelly won at this point. Oh, I, maybe they run HP. Nah, no, I'm pretty sure um, Kelly doesn't run HP. They run Hidden Power. I think Ghost to hit Jellicent. Um, it also hits Crest, Celebi, Lattice. I think they ran that. Or HP Electric for Gyarados and Jellicent. I mean, the main thing that was different in Gen 5 to like. Later gens is the chill symbols like more common because it's like it has water absorbed and it switches into specs. Kill your hydro pump, 
which is deadly in the rain and if the weather is permanent. Well, Landris is actually kind of impressive how it took that. It's only to 52. Like, Landris is... Man, oh man, that mon is so good. Like, that mon will ever, always be good, no matter what happens. Like, those mons, Rotom and Landris, you can always count on them. Trust. Even though Rotom Rush is not that good in, in Sun and Moon, uh, in my opinion. You're kind of forced to run this, but I've said to check Greninja. And when Landris, I was around to check that. I mean, at the moment, at the moment you can actually, you can maybe run Fist Death Rotom, but there's not that many physical attackers. Mainly, I guess there's um, Double Dance in hand. Mega Metagross is, is one example, which uh, Fist Death Rotom is nice to run for, because most Metagross don't run in Headbutt, so you can check them pretty well with Meta, uh, with Rotom. The best move to hit you is probably Hammer Arm or T-Punch, which Rotom should eat up decently well. Like, Hammer Arm does a good chunk, but uh, T-Punch does nothing. If you want a defensive Rotom. Um, so I assume that D-Knight is gonna go for Roost here to get back to the multi-scale. Because HBS can crit and kill it if he goes for DD. I mean, he can drag Nancy and just win the game, that's also an option, but I think he's no reason not to Roost and risk a potential crit. I thought this game would have been super like over, like super quick, super fast, but it's almost 17 minutes in the end. It's kind of surprising because I was like 10 turns late, or I forgot how many turns I was too late when it began. Um, so we already know this doesn't have a move to hit the Pharaoh, but what is Pharaoh doing back? I think it's like Spike's Leech Seed, Jeroball, Power Whip, or something along those lines. Sex the Duggy and. Does Griselda have HP Fire, which is... I mean, he can just go for Moonlight here to get a huge chunk of health back. Um, so he has Ice Beam and Moonlight and Toxic. HP Fire would be so clutch. Okay, they're saying why did he let Ninetales die. If he has HP Fire, we will have our answer. If he's not HP Fire, it's a good question. Yeah, he has HP Fire. Keck. He's toying with his food. <laughs> he was a wolf once. I think he, I think he could have HP fired again. Now the Farathon is like getting out of range because it's getting a lot of HP back. Dude, like if he goes Landris, he'll live a hit anyway. You can afford to it. Landris dies anyway, is what I meant, yeah. Toki Tom takes the win. We will look at the teams and everything. And. He said, sorry, I don't think we've ever played a clean game. I don't know, like, I haven't seen this guy, these two guys play each other before. Um, this was still kind of interesting to me. Like, I've learned. Something new, so Cressella can run HP fire on black and white. I didn't know that was like a set. <laughs> let me let me see, let me see. So I know that seal is on the bigs. And Toki Tom is on the tires, so the tigers I think they are decently like they're not that high ranked at the moment, so they have to like win a few weeks to have a chance to make playoffs. They might even have to win every week, but um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, the, the most hyped match is like the, the Snowy vs. Extra Shine, like 3 or 4 hours. Nice 5 a.m. Keck. I mean, it's at 5 a.m. Uh, stay tuned for that. Actually, I will probably upload that before this one because I upload the black and white ones after the, the Sun Moon and RS games. I will have like a lot more content coming, just stay tuned. You already know how this goes, right? I'm saying I record most SPL matches if I'm able to. Peace out, friends.